Hey guys, so today we are actually going to be repotting um, one of my new babies, my Regal Shield. So I got this Regal Shield at Lowe's like a week or so ago. Um, it's kind of just been hanging out, acclimating to the house. And today, as I was checking on it, I noticed one of the leaves was looking a little funky. And boop, it popped off nice and squishy. Um, so that prompted me to double check the soil. So let me see if you guys can see this. So yeah, if you see the meter, it's all the way in the wet. So because Lowe's has the, I mean, they're always overwatering everything because they don't care. <laughs> so, so we're going to go ahead and get this baby repotted. So I have already mixed up my soil mix. So the soil mix that I use is a mixture of perlite, orchid bark, peat moss, and an organic potting soil. Um, I love to mix these because it gives it better drainage and I always suffer when I buy the standard mixes with having good drainage. Alright, so we've got this beautiful Eagle Shield. Um, actually, if you guys can see this new leaf is unfurling. Yay! Um, so let's get this baby rolling. Um, the other smaller leaf at the bottom is not um, wet. So I'm wondering what's going on with our roots here. Um, yeah, these are the remnants of that leaf and they're nice and nasty and squishy. So let's see what we've got. Um, I'm just gonna grab an old box I have here so as to try not to make so much of a mess on my black and white carpet underneath my outdoor table. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. look um, like they've got root rot so that's always a good thing try to gently pry this out of here and loosen the dirt because it doesn't even look like this mixture is a very well draining mixture so at this point I'm just gonna repot it in a new mixture I know this looks crazy, but I promise this is as gentle as I can be. <laughs> was bad too so yeah well let's see what else we got here so I'm gonna just gently see if I can kind of break up this root ball here um, you guys can see we've got a lot of pretty roots here I'm not seeing anything that distinctly reminds me of root rot but let's see what else we got. Just gently break everything apart. Root rot 
that for those of you who are new um the first thing you're going to want to do is take a look at your roots identify what's root rot and identifying what's root rot is roots that are uh, not firm usually they're not white um they're brown they're squishy um those cannot be safe um, i don't even waste my time at that point that's a nice root. that's a healthy root right there you've got a white firm root you've got a lot of healthy roots here so that's a really good sign um but if we had root rot essentially what you need to do is to cut it and save the healthy roots that you have um, and repot it into a better draining soil mixture and keep a good eye on it. Um, remember we talked in the other video about that moisture meter. So that moisture meter is where I said that's one of the key things that I use to make sure we don't have root rot. And this guy has a very healthy looking root system. So I'm just wondering if maybe just those leaves were sitting in water or what's going on. I'm just going to continue to kind of break this up gently. Let's see. I mean, it's okay to leave to lose leaves every now and then. That's not really a biggie. I mean, obviously, we all get very distraught when we use leaves, when we lose leaves, because we love having beautiful leaves. But those leaves were small, which leads me to believe they were probably older leaves when this plant was much younger. And it might have just been time for them to go. Um, it happens, but. I always try to make sure that otherwise there's no underlying issues going on. I mean, that's a nice root system there. That's very nice. So I'm not seeing any, I'm not seeing anything that looks like root rot, anything that's particularly bad or damaged oh, it may have just been time for those to leave and that's okay looking you probably may hear my dogs at one point <laughs> they are out here living their best life it feels amazing outside in Maryland right now um, that's why I'm doing my big guys are we getting repotted today I have a money tree that needs to be repot so I was originally coming specifically out here for my money tree then I took a look at this gal here and I was like mm, I don't like it um, so no she looks good um, as you see, pretty expansive root system there. Um, I don't see any other concerns. You know, I don't see anything that's bothering me down here. So we're just going to chalk it up to those leaves needing to go. <laughs> um, and I don't know if you can see this soil and obviously I got some of the baby baby roots came off in the process it's very wet I have not watered this plant since I got it um, and this is why I hate some of those mixtures from Lowe's now I don't immediately repot my plants when I get them I like to let them acclimate in the house um, first but in this instant um, even though I've only had it a week I'm gonna go ahead and repot because I'm afraid that the this soil being as wet as it is is going to cause root rot. So we're going to head that off before that even becomes an issue. Um, and I'm not even really going to reuse this because I don't like it. Um, it looks like it's just keeping... I don't even know what the heck that is. Um, it <laughs> looks like it's just keeping too much moisture. So we're going to go ahead and repot this with the mix that I have that has the orchid bark the Paralyte um, peat moss in an organic soil 
and we'll get this baby squared away. So I have an affinity for terracotta pots. <laughs> I shouldn't, but I do. Um, they do dry out faster than a plastic pot. Um, so that I keep an eye on my guys in terracotta pots. Um, I don't put everything in a terracotta pot because everything doesn't like them. <laughs> but I like them. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get this in here. going to the store to buy any additional pots so it is what it is um, when you're repotting into a bigger pot um, you may see that your plant is going to slow growth initially um, because it's going to work on forming those roots and getting them down into this pot before it's gonna pop out new leaves. It's gonna put its energy for those roots. So every bit of energy that your plant is taking in through its leaves, it's gonna to use to create new roots first. Um, that's why you don't repot in a pot that's extremely too big. Because when you repot in a pot that's extremely too big, your plant is gonna take its time filling out the roots before it even does any more leaves. So it'll slow the growth exponentially. And I have a lot of people that will ask, well, why is it my pot? It's, it's thriving, but it's not growing. It's taking time because it's going to fill out everything in the bottom before it starts popping out those leaves at the top. Um, in this instance, it doesn't hurt my feelings if it does, because even though this is a smidge bigger, it's actually, if I'm sitting here now and the roots just holding it are touching both sides. So I'm not too concerned. Um, now, normally when I and filling and repotting I will wet some of this soil before I put it in but because that other soil was so wet already when I repot guys and gals out of like super wet pots I normally leave them for a day or two and then come back and water them um, I don't know maybe it's my paranoia um, I don't go too long without ordering them especially in a mix with like in a terracotta pot um, but I want to give them a moment here this soil is it's not bone dry it is a little bit damp but it's not like that other one so get this baby in here I usually add some and pat it down a bit I'm gonna use this whole thing that I just made of soil <laughs> some of that soil and kind of I guess compact it is the word I'm looking for compact it into the pot so I normally don't stress too much when I first repot on getting everything correct once the water will settle everything down in here you know I'll adjust accordingly but I love this orchid bark I love it the orchid bark it just gives it a very airy it makes the mix more airy 
when we were talking about guys and gals that are more prone to getting root rot, um, you really want to keep that in mind. So. Alright, well, we've got our regal shield here, repotted, and we'll take her inside, and then we'll start on our money tree. Um, I will give you guys updates on these guys as they come along. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or anything, let me know down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. See you guys later. Peace.